Throughout our history, the U.S. and its military have maintained superiority through aggressive innovation. Evolving enemies and threats have required us to transform quickly to meet the challenges of the day. Key to this innovation has been logistics. Horse-drawn artillery dominated the Revolutionary War. Railroads shaped the Civil War. Trucks and large naval carriers were critical in World War II. The need for a permanent military industrial base was exposed in Korea. By Vietnam, helicopters and cargo delivery planes were in full use. Today, the MTVR, MRAP, and other ground vehicles, along with aerial platforms such as the C-130, MV-22, and CH-53, deliver supplies to forces in the field. Our strategic lift and distribution capabilities are well established. No one can move large quantities of personnel and material from home to a distant theater better than the United States. But today's supply capabilities, while robust, are not fully optimized for the wars we fight. We have outrun the Iron Mountain. Distributed operations require self-sufficient units to operate in austere battle spaces. Fortunately, improvements in logistics information technology logistics chain management, and command and control systems are giving us greater visibility and control of the logistics chain. This is helping us trade mass for speed. As we shift to a just-in-time paradigm, expeditionary support must be able to operate without significant access to infrastructure in harsh operational environments. We must continue to evolve. Current operations are demonstrating the value of unmanned aerial delivery vehicles. Such capabilities hold great promise in reducing our dependency on manned ground convoys, shortening logistics lines, and saving lives. In the future, modular autonomous transport devices will figure more prominently in our tactical distribution capability. The Office of Naval Research has developed an autonomous aerial cargo utility system sensor suite that can be used with many aircraft platforms for manned or unmanned autonomous flight in GPS-denied or visually degraded aircraft. DARPA's Aerial Reconfigurable Embedded System is a vertical takeoff and landing flight module designed to operate as an unmanned platform that can transport a variety of payloads and mission configurations. Self-driving trucks are also on the horizon. Combined with other new and emerging technologies, these autonomous platforms will support Marines with the equipment and supplies they need more safely more quickly and with greater precision. Additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, gives us the ability to print parts in expeditionary or amphibious settings, using only reference data and raw materials that can be used for many things. Additive manufacturing is part of an integrated set of capabilities that will transform the way we resupply our Marines. Finally, we must address how we equip our Marines. In World War II, Marines carried approximately 40 pounds of kit. In 2000, the average Marine wore 73 pounds of gear, excluding the pack. Today, with improved body armor and communication systems, this has increased to 100 pounds. We need to lighten this load without compromising protection and capability. Lighter materials, assisted robotics, and sensors that monitor the health of the force are all areas of innovation opportunity. Our superior logistics capability depends on maintaining a healthy partnership with industry to solve emerging problems. Just as industry helped us win on yesterday's battlefields, we are looking to our industry innovators to bring us logistics solutions that will help us win the fight of tomorrow.